Hello, today I will show you how to reform or um, uh, use the optimal code and stop to reform your uh, nano DLPs. And uh, as my, some of my clients uh, want to reform their printer using the uh, optimal and switch uh, and stock switches and because uh, this optimal switch can uh, much much uh, pacific than the uh, machinery and stop so um, but they have some trouble in uh, setting up how to use the uh, optimal switches. And I will show you how to uh, connect and reset the nano DLP. And as you see, uh, this optimal switch uh, is very useful or uh, very normal in the 3D printers. This uh, switch you can buy very cheap, um, but it's worth. Um, when you want to reform it, you need to know about their structure. It has three pins. Uh, we S G, we uh we uh percentage is uh five watt input. S uh is for signal. G is for ground. So this three pin you need to recognize. And as come to the nano shell V V two V, V two point two. But this is 2.1, it's okay. And when you use the V 2.2 or 2.1, the end stock signal from right to left is uh, 5 of input. The middle is the ground, and the uh, left is the signal. So, uh, this is different from the <coughs> optimal switch uh, sequence. So you need to change the S and the G pin into... So here you need to change the S, S to the left, left pawn, not left pin, and the and the uh, ground, the ground connect to the middle pin. So you just need to change these two pin. But before you connect it to to your nano shell, you should make sure your five watt pin is well connect. If your firewall and the ground pin is uh, converged, it will burn your optimal code, uh, switch. So after you uh, well connect to your uh, nano shell, the other thing you need to change is the uh, logical uh, logical switches. We need to log into the nano DLPs um, backstage. Uh, just just fill your IP, then come to the setup and the machine setting. Here have the movement GPIO setting, and when you come to the end stock switch, uh, the default state 
you need to set it into low. How we, why we set it low? Because this is the default stage for the N switches. And we can take to see uh, what's the difference between machine micro and the optimal switches. When you see the machine uh, and stop, uh, its default stage uh, is high. As you see, the uh, signal is come from the has come from the four pin. This four pin, and the default signal is high. It will have the five watts output. When it touch the touch the switch, and it will become uh, it will connect to the ground. So when the switch is functional, this output will be uh, low logical. So if you use the machinery switches, your end switch default state should be high. And compared to machinery and, and stop, this optimal code is the converse. When the signal come from here, its default stage should be high. No, no, no. Yes, the default stage should be uh, low. Why we say that? Because with the five warp, uh, the switch uh, this optimal code switch is uh, open. Then the signal is come directed to the ground. So the default uh, state should be low. When the when something is uh, blocked from the uh, optimal switch, the state will become uh, become five off, become high logical. So. If you use the optimal code switch, the this setting and stock switch state should be low. So you change it into no. If you use the machinery uh, machinery switch and and stock switch, that should be high. So you just submit this uh, state, then you can. Uh, your end stop will be functional. Let me check whether it's function. We connect the motor, then then we can use the up. Up uh, movement. This now is up movement. This is end stocks is uh, control the top end switch. If it block, the motor will be stop. And we check the down function. Now the motor is da uh, moving down. So we just check this. Uh, a button switch to see whether it's functional. Now, if it block, it, if it come to the end, come to the uh, floor, touching the end switch, the motor can be stopped. So this can functional right. So if you want to. Uh, we form your machine using the optimal switch. Mm, 
you need to uh, connect wire the wire and reset the nano DLP's um, movement setting to uh, to use the low voltage but uh, it just show you how to you must know what's the state for your uh, end stop you need to know about uh, how it works so this video just explain how this uh, function thanks for watching bye